I'm Rob Cardwell, and here are some of the day's top stories. We have an update to a CBS 6 Problem Solvers investigation that's going to affect thousands of people waiting for their unemployment benefits. The Virginia Employment Commission is announcing a settlement in the federal class action lawsuit brought against them, and it means they'll have to get rid of the backlog of unemployment claims. The suit was filed against the BEC, claiming thousands of eligible Virginians have been struggling to receive their benefits during the pandemic. Not only does the settlement require the VEC to eliminate that backlog of claims by Labor Day, it also requires the organization to speed up how quickly it processes claims, resume payments for those whose benefits were improperly cut off, and the agency will now be subject to judicial supervision. There's a phone scam that you need to know about. The sheriff's office in Henrico says a caller is pretending to be a lieutenant and telling people there's a warrant out for their arrest for missing a court date. Then they try to get the victim to buy gift cards to pay off the fine. Now, the sheriff's office posted to Facebook saying they will never call people demanding they pay a fine, even if a court date is missed. You're asked to call them if you've heard from the scammer. And now here's Tom. All right, Rob, thanks a lot. Going to be a hot one today. We're starting out in the upper 60s and we'll quickly jump into the 70s and 80s, topping out today in the lower to perhaps even middle 90s. That would tie a record if we do hit 94 today. Becoming partly sunny, there'll be a few late day showers and thunderstorms as well. And then we'll clear out overnight tonight, but still a warm, muggy night, 69 degrees for the overnight low. Uh, a few scattered clouds develop today and then by afternoon and evening, we'll see a few showers and storms coming through with a disturbance and then into the uh, late evening hours, those will dissipate. There is a slight risk for severe weather. This would be about Chester northward through D.C., a marginal risk, a little lower end as you go from about south of Chester through Colonial Heights and Petersburg. All right, here's a look at the next few days and your seven-day forecast. I hope you have a great day from CBS 6, the Weather Authority.